I'll tell you what, June was hot. And to be fair, by my standards, so were my eBay sales. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris, I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. This is a sales recap video. I do these once a month just to show you what sort of things have been selling on my eBay shop. Low value stuff, mid and high value stuff, just to give you like a, a range of the sort of things I do sell, what sort of prices are being realised, and so again, hints and tips as to what to look out for, and how long to expect things to sell, because that's an aspect of reselling that's often overlooked. So as per usual, I won't show you everything that's sold, but I'll give you a sort of highlights reel, for sort of, again, like the sorts of things that I have been selling on my eBay shop. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. As I said, June has been pretty good. Um, the last couple of months, it's been a little bit meh. I haven't had any like standout sales, and it's just been it's been okay, but not great. June has been a lot better, a lot better. Don't know why. Couldn't tell you why. It's been better. I've been listing about the same number of things. It's just one of those things, isn't it? It's whatever. What you know, I must have tickled the algorithm in the right way. Now, I've been given some feedback that I'm not showing the item on screen for as long as I should be. So, you'll see less of me in this video, and you'll just see a box of the item, but ultimately, you kind of probably want to see the item rather than me. So, hey, I'm not offended. If that's what you want to see, then that's fine. So, starting off the sales, really good sale, actually. So, this is a vintage Lone Star, which is a older brand of um, die-cast car. This is a Ford Zodiac Estate. Now, I've had this in my collection for ages. It doesn't really fit in with the sort of collection direction I'm going for. It's an older car. It rolls pretty well, but it just it's just not really in keeping with the sort of theme I'm going for. I'm pretty sure I didn't pay more than about 50p for this at a car boot sale ages ago. That's gone for £40 plus postage on the GSP over to America. So, with these old sort of Lone Star cars, they have opening bonnets, doors, and boots. Basically, the better the condition, the better the price that you will get. 40 quid, I price high. Um, there were others priced sort of 20, 25 pounds, but this one was in such good condition, priced high, top of the table, sold, 40 quid plus postage, sorted. Next up, we've got All Bar Brown polo shirt. This is 100% linen, size XL, but quite a short one rather than a long polo shirt. I paid £6 for this in a charity shop. That's gone for £34 plus postage. I think I had it up for 40 for a while. Someone offered me 30 I believe. Count over 34 Sold. Toast. Sold some toast. This is a Toast Ladies 100% linen uh, crew neck jumper. I've had this return before. Um, the person said it didn't fit. What can you do? These things happen. I paid £10 for this in a charity shop quite a while ago. That sold for £40 plus postage. I was hoping to get a little bit more for it, but I think because it was a smaller size and we're not really in the season for sort of thick jumpers, £40 plus postage, not complaining. So next, another diecast sale. This is a Ford Transit uh, in Securical livery, so straight from the 90s. Ford Transit, uh, about yay big, it's about 136 scale. That's one for a 10 F plus postage. Sold some night swim shorts, pretty basic, but on an older tag, like a black and black tag with the red swoosh. Uh, paid two pounds for these in a charity shop, that's gone for 12 pounds plus postage. I sold some Echoes, again, another one that was returned because they were too small. Oh well, uh, these are about Echo Men's uh, Nubuck leather um, strapped loafers. Only paid two pounds at a car boot sale. They sold again for £24 plus postage. Uh, sold some Converse, but Converse low tops. I tend to not pick up low tops, only because they don't do as well as high tops. But if the price is right and the condition is good and the size is good, I will give them a go. Uh, these are an all-white pair of uh, unisex UK size 9s. I think I paid £3 for these at a car boot sale. They gone for £17.50 plus postage. Sold some Supercars. Uh, these were actually brand new with tags. So these are a pair of uh, Supercar 2750 CO2U Classics and a nice sort of burgundy red. Um, I had them for a while. I believe I paid a fiver at the car boot sale last year. Uh, so they've hung around a little bit. They've gone for full price, £28 plus postage. Sticking with the shoes. So these are a pair of Reebok Classic trainers but i couldn't find out the exact model um obviously you can get the standard reebok classic put a picture in here um but these were more of a sort of i don't know curved shoe you can basically there's stuff like there's the club c uh i think it's, i think it's club c 85 there's a club c revenge basically there's a load of shoes that reebok do that look very similar but have different names 
These didn't appear like any of those, but they were of that style. So I kind of just left the style a little bit ambiguous. Anyway, had them up for 30 quid, paid a fiver in a charity shop. Um, someone offered me 20, I said meet in the middle, and they did. £25 plus postage, and they didn't take too long to sell. So that's all good. Uh, and another like I sale, this is a vintage Corgi uh, Lotus Formula 1 car, I believe from the late 70s. Again, one of the, the collection. Don't know how much I pay for it. That's also gone for a tenner plus postage. Sold some Sprayway. Ooh, Sprayway. Now, a couple of other retailers that I watch really promoted Sprayway. So, yeah, Sprayway is a good brand to pick up. I would beg to differ. I don't think Sprayway is as good as the hype would suggest. So, this is a vintage, made in England, Sprayway. Uh, I've got my phone here. Reflex Hydro Dry Jacket, size large men's. Uh, 20 quid plus postage. And I paid a fiver for that. That's a car boot sale, I think. I believe it was a fiver. So, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I've got other Sprayway things listed. They're just sitting around. One's even a Gore-Tex jacket, and that's just not shifting. So I think unless the price is really cheap, I'll be avoiding Sprayway going forward. It's just not quite as good a seller as I thought, but it's okay. It's a learning curve. Oh, you would have seen these in a recent video. Maybe the last video I did, my sort of um, collection of footage. These are those Novestas, or Novestas, uh, the Starmaster tweed, like Converse style shoe. Paid seven quid for these in the charity shop. I believe it was seven quid. Yeah, I think it was six or seven quid. They've gone for £32.50 plus postage, and they took a couple of days to sell. So, really good shoe to look out for. Uh, Novesta. I'll put the logo in here. It said they look like Converse, but they're made in Slovakia. So, yeah, they've got a sort of um, yeah, Eastern European merit to them. But yeah, cool shoe. Actually, another one from that video. Uh, these Levi's 508 men's shorts haven't been cut off. They are legitimate jean shorts. Paid four quid for these. They've gone for £15 plus postage on offer. So I was more Levi's. Uh, this is a Levi's denim jacket. Lady size, size eight. So on the smaller side, paid a fiver for this in a charity shop. I believe it was in the men's section as well. That's gone for £25 plus postage. Uh, so I was from Nike Runners. So these are the Nike Roche, Roche Run. Nice sort of burgundy white running shoes. UK size nine, so pretty much unisex. Paid a pound. Paid a pound for these at a car boot sale. I couldn't believe it. Gave them a bit of a clean. Came up pretty good. I think I had them up for 20 quid. Someone offered me 18. No brainer. 18 quid plus postage. Bit of boy zone. Sold a bit of band merch. I always like it when band merch sells because as much as I like picking band merch up, it can take a while to sell. It can be a bit sticky unless somebody's really looking for that particular t-shirt or whatever it is. It can hang around a little bit. So again, I paid a pound for this in a charity shop uh, a little while ago now. It's a boy zone uh, tour t-shirt from 2011. Size XL. 20 quid. All in? No. 20 quid plus postage. Fantastic. Sold some Vans, but these are the Vans slip-ons. Man, I've always wanted a pair for myself. But finding these in a size 13 is a little bit difficult. These were not a size 13, otherwise I would have kept them. These were a size 9. Nice checkerboard style. Um, nice checkerboard style. Off-white colour with black. 20 quid plus postage. And I believe I paid £2 for those at a car boot sale. So, again, nice bit of profit. Sold some Converse. So these are the Converse I like to sell. The high tops. Just the... All the plain colours, so white, black, red, seem to have a pretty good following even now. Uh, so these are a UK size 5, so a smaller size. Uh, absolutely fantastic condition. Couldn't believe how good they were. I believe I paid £3 for these at a car boot sale. 20 quid plus postage, and I believe they sold the same day. Cosm Jewels, not the best brand to sell, I find. Um, so this is a Jewels women's long sleeve embroidered polo shirt. It's a UK size 12. No, it's not. <laughs> what size is that? Uh, 14. UK, UK size 14. So not a bad size, but I'm probably not going to pick these up again. I think I only paid 3 quid for it. I was gone for 16 quid plus postage. So not a bad return. It's just taken an age to sell. So I think I can invest better with other items. But you never say never. But I'll, I'll be a bit more cautious about picking up jewels in the future because it is a little bit of a sticky brand. I think because there is so much on eBay... It's got sort of like Ralph Lauren syndrome. There's so much of it. You're kind of fighting for the lower prices of everybody else. But hey, just my opinion. Oh, sort of pair of football boots. Uh, these are a pair of Adidas X Ghosted 0.4 uh, Firm Ground Football Boots. I believe these are... What did these cost me? I believe they were £2.50 actually from a copy. So uh, they've gone for £25 plus postage. I believe they only took a day to sell as well. So happy with that. That's the thing. I'm not, I'm not too fussed if something sells the same day. I guess I could have asked more for it, but I'd rather get the price I'm after, 
get the profit in, reinvest it, no problem, right? Sold some hobs. Now, hobs clothing, I am very reluctant to pick up these days. Unless there's something special about it, I will typically avoid it because it just doesn't sell that well, I found. But these are a pair of hobs shoes, so like a court shoe style. Again, only paid a pound for them. I believe from the same shop as that boy's own t-shirt. Um, they've gone for £17 plus postage. So 1 into 17, that's pretty good. To be fair, even 3 into 17 isn't too bad. So I think I will be looking out for those again and just seeing if Hobbs shoes sell better than the clothing. Because the clothing, even with like a good material composition, just doesn't sell as well as I thought it would. So yeah, Hobbs shoes I will put a bit of faith into. Hobbs clothing, I'm going to try and avoid. Good sale this one. Really good sale. So some of you may have heard of Avicii. Um, so Tim Berg, the Swedish um, like dance house music producer, who sadly passed away a few years ago. Um, he so his breakthrough song uh, was like Levels, which I think came out in about 2011, something like that. But before his big breakthrough, he did a couple of uh, dance compilation CDs. This being one of them. So this is Avicii presents Strictly Miami. It's a two disc version of the unmixed tracks. Uh, rather than the sort of the dance mix compilation, so two discs. I've had this in my collection for a while. I say collection, I've, I bought it from a charity shop, I don't think it was more than a quid. Uploaded it, and I just had it in a box, because I knew it was a little bit special. I didn't realise how special it was. So, um, I believe I had this up for £90, 9-0. Had it up for ages, didn't really have any sort of offers. Uh, someone offered me, I believe they offered me 55 for it. And I counted with, I think I counted with 75, 15 quid off. Uh, they're in Italy, so it would have gone GSP. And they said, look, the G I really want this. It was the only one for sale on eBay, I believe, at the time. Um, they said, they really want this. Um, money's tight. Could we meet somewhere in the middle? 68 quid plus postage on the GSP over to Italy. But that is such an incredible city to look out for. So Avicii presents Strictly Miami. It's a really, really thin CD as well. It's not a jewel case, it's like a little cardboard sort of sleeve thing. But just an incredible CD. Um, don't think they made many of them. I, I say that. They probably still made, have made a few thousand of them. But worldwide, it's a pretty high in demand. And as, as you can see, can um, generate quite a good price. So definitely one to be looking out for. I'm not somebody to like peruse the CDs wherever I go. Not even at car boot sales, not typically. But if you do find this one, just pick it up. Please pick it up because it, one, it's a really good CD anyway, really good like dance tracks, and second of all, it's worth a fair bit of money, so win-win. So, sold some Blaze and the Monster Machine. So, Ian Master of Pieces likes picking these up when he can find them. Uh, I bought this from a charity shop for 50p. Uh, this is Blaze, oh, what is it called? This is Dino Blaze, so a variation of the normal character, I guess, like a dinosaur theme. That's one for £10.50 plus postage, and I believe the profit of that pays for all of the other ones I picked up at the same time, which is quite good. And I've got a couple other ones that are decent, and I've got a job lot that are less decent, but yeah, Blazing the Monster Machines, if you can find the right ones, they can sell for a reasonable amount, so keep an eye out. This is an official uh, Crescent Suzuki Racing, so like MotoGP, uh, Full Zip Fleece, paid £3 for this, I believe, at a car boot sale had a really annoying stain on it, like really annoying, Just could not get it out, washed it a couple of times, scrubbed it, it was going nowhere, so made it very clear, that's gone for £23 plus postage, so a nice bit of profit there, but if it was a macula, you can push 30 plus, so these sort of motorcycle jackets, are like fleece line, with all the sponsors, definitely things to look out for. Okay, so this is sale of the month, and to be fair, it's one of my favourite sales this year as well. So this is a vintage uh, Hasbro Transformers G1, so like first generation um, Transformer. And uh, it's called Cyclonus. It's a Decepticon. It's purple with some silver bits on it. Um, it's sort of like a jet, I guess. It transforms into a robot. You know the deal. It's a Transformer. I paid a pound for this at a car boot sale. One pound. Now, it was in a box, like a rummage box with like other toys that were a bit broken. Uh, but the thing with Transformers is I can't stress this enough. If you find a Transformer, just look through the box because if it comes with a gun or some sort of weapon or accessory, if it's not on the Transformer, there's a chance it could be in the box. And it says little pieces 
that make a massive amount of difference to the collectability and subsequently the value of the transformer so as you can see with this one it's the purple robot is the transformer but then on top there's a little mini robot called the target master this one is called night switch now it's, it was properly small like three and a half centimeters tall but i've had it in the box and it i saw it it fitted i thought okay this could go together um i'm really glad i did that because that made all the difference that's gone for 90 pounds plus postage and it sold within one day so you could ask could i have got more for it possibly but the guys left positive feedback really happy with it i couldn't be happy either so one pound into 90 is just sensational absolutely sensational but if i hadn't attached that little target master it might have only been 45 quid so having the correct target master with the correct robot with all the pieces intact it had a little bit of wear it wasn't like mint but just having that little guy with the with the larger one it makes all the difference and so super happy and it was just in some like um house clearance store so always look through the house clearance stores always look through these sort of toy boxes if you do find the transformer just have a look to see if there are any other bits there might not be but you need to check because you won't believe the difference tiny little pieces can make to the prices so there we go i'm wa I've waffled enough i've waffled enough but um that was really good but hot on the heels of that was this this is an oregon scientific osiris personal handheld computer sort of kind of like nintendo ds big had a stylus put some batteries in it worked fine it was like a black and white screen it had like word and excel and stuff on it so it was i don't know when it dates from probably like the early 2000s but say fully working lovely condition and that was less than a pound I had it bought in a little bundle of other things from a just like a lady at the car boot sale bought like some wires and some cables and stuff like that anyway this was included it looked interesting didn't look it up that's gone for 70 pounds plus postage less than a pound so <laughs> um yeah it's amazing what stuff can be worth and the stuff that perhaps is overlooked initially so with avici the transformer and that oregon scientific computer three pounds has become near as makes no difference 230 pounds gross which is unheard of absolutely unheard of so yeah what a couple of days that was i mean if i could keep that up i'll be going full time no, i won't be going full time but it just, i just yeah i was absolutely buzzing absolutely buzzing so that was a really good couple of days back down to earth a little bit with this next sale uh this is a ralph lauren polo sport polo shirt bit of a fail paid a fiver for this thought it would do quite well no will not be picking this up again that's gone for 13 pounds plus postage and it's taken an eternity to sell as well nice size though XL, you know, tall fit. Just, just no demand for it. So yeah, won't we'll be picking that up again. Uh, so it's more vans. These are a bit different. These are a pair of like neon orange vans, uh, canvas era shoes. There's the, I believe there's the classic and the era. The era has like more padding around the outside. The classic is just like canvas, not like a converse shoe. Uh, pay two pounds for these, I believe, at a car boot sale. £17.50 for the postage. I uh, sold some Wolf Sports, I believe they're unisex um, motocross trousers, so the sort of things you can put padding in and ride, ride your trail bikes with. Uh, £21.50 plus postage, I believe I paid £4 for those from a charity shop, so not too bad. Wasn't quite sure how well they do, but yeah, pleasantly surprised. So um, yeah, I'll be picking those up again. Paramo. Now, a while ago I picked up a load of Paramo from a charity shop. I say a load, I bought five things for £4 each. Three of those things sold for 50 quid each almost instantly. Great. But these shirts have hung around a bit. Um, so this is a Paramo, Paramator, a long sleeve, like khaki coloured walking shirt. I think I had these up for 45 initially and no interest. Then dropped it to 40, no interest. Um, someone offered me 30 and I think I counted with 35 and then they counted with 32, 50. And I thought, Do you know what? I'm in a generous mood. I'll accept that. I only paid £4 for it. Obviously, these shirts don't do as well as the more sort of fleecy things, which is understandable. So, yeah, £32.50 plus postage, paid four quid, 
well worth looking out for. These were good too, actually. So I picked these up from a charity shop for three quid. A uh, nice pair of fat face uh, tartan print cargo shorts. I find a lot of fat face stuff doesn't do brilliantly well. At least I haven't had much luck with it. But these cargo shorts are fantastic. Paid three quid. Size 38, so nice big size. They gone for £30 plus postage and they sold within a day as well. So yeah, these bigger um, fat face cotton cargo shorts can do really well. Keep an eye out for them. So some more vintage Corgi. This is a Corgi Ferrari. Which one is this? This is the 206 Dino Sport. Another one from the collection. Funny anecdote, actually. Um, the rear spoiler was broken on this one. Made it very clear in the listing that this is the case. And that's because when I lived back in my old flat, uh, we had an earthquake in Devon. I know, hard to believe. We had an earthquake and it was the only casualty that had fallen off the shelf onto the floor. Landed on the spoiler. Duh! I didn't put that in the listing. They don't need to know, but yeah, there we go. That's why the spoiler broke. Because the earthquake knocked it off. There we go. <laughs> you didn't need to know that, but I'll tell you anyway. Standard stuff. Quick silver board shorts. Paid a pound for these. £12 plus postage. Oh yes, sea salt. Sea salt, I'm finding, is a fairly good seller. As long as you can get a decent size. Small size stuff just doesn't seem to shift. Bigger size stuff does. This is sort of in the middle, actually. This is a sea salt... What do they call this one? The Sea Folly. It's a Sea Folly hooded waterproof jacket with the sort of the toggles and sort of like canvasy feel. I paid a pound for that. Uh, Car boot sale. That's gone for £30 plus postage. Hasn't taken too long to sell either. This was cool. So this is a t-shirt I bought from a charity shop. I believe it was in Bridgewater. And it features a character called Fido Dido. Or Fido Dido, however you, however you pronounce him. Um, I believe he was from a 7-Up commercial back in the 90s. I think it was 7-Up. If I'm wrong, I'll put a caption here. Um, but uh, it's a positive affirmation t-shirt. It read... What did it read? You are what you are, and what you are is okay. Isn't that nice? I paid £2.50. That's gone for £20 plus postage. So what's more Converse? Uh, these are a pair of Converse Chuck Taylor high tops again. These are a bit, bit of a better size. These are size 7. Uh, black. Weren't in as good condition as the other ones I sold. But they've gone for £23 plus postage. So, again, larger sizes bringing in a little bit more money before. Um, I think I paid £4 for them, so that's absolutely fine. And again, only took a couple of days to sell. So yeah, Converse seem to be on a bit of an up, so keep an eye out for them. So some fit flops. A couple of videos ago, you would have seen I picked up a load of fit flops from one seller. These are like six pairs. Paid £12 for the lot. Well, these have, <laughs> these have brought that money back and some. These sold for £40 plus postage. These are the Rally um, Strapped. Yeah, they are. These are like a strap sort of retro tennis shoe. Yeah, £40 plus postage, so well into profit already. And I've got five more pairs to sell, so that is excellent. Sold some cool, that's K-U-H-L, uh, women's sort of like tri um, trekking, not hiking shorts. Again, had these for a while as well. Uh, they're only UK size 12, so smaller size, but again, lovely condition, nice cotton material. £20 plus postage, so cool is, is like a an underrated, I think they're German, uh, like outdoor brand, so well worth keeping an eye out for, particularly the jackets, they can do really well. But yeah, if I can get 20 quid for a pair of small size lady shorts, there's definitely merit in that company. What do you know? Some more fit flops, but these weren't from that same seller. These are a pair of, uh, these are the Lulu Toe Post Wobble Board Flip Flops. I believe I paid a fiver for these at the same car boot sale, but from a different seller. They've gone for £30 plus postage. Lovely condition. Only a UK size 5. But I find these Topo sandals probably my best fit flop seller. And typically the fit flops you find the most of. But I say all fit flops are worth investigating. So keep an eye out. Sold some more Adidas football boots. These are the Copa. What does that say? 20.3 firm ground moulded studs football boots. There we go. Bright red. Size 8. Again, paid £2.50 for these. £24 plus postage. Uh, sold this York weightlifting belt. Fairly small size. I think it was like a 30 inch waist. Something like that. Uh, paid a pound. That's gone for a 10 plus postage. Sold this jigsaw. 100% uh, linen. Sort of flowery skirt. Paid £4 for this at a car boot sale. I thought it would do a little bit better. But it's gone for £15 plus postage. Um, I'd probably pick it up again. It doesn't take him too long to sell. Even though it's only a size 10. So probably the size wasn't on its side. Um, but yeah. It didn't take too long to sell. So happy with that. Sold this Schleck, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Schleck, Schleck. Um, this is the Ritter Tournament Jousting Knights. I believe Ritter does mean knight in German. Uh, was missing his lance, unfortunately, but I paid 
I think I paid 50p for this. I think I had it for a tenner plus postage. Someone offered me eight, and I thought, you know what, that's absolutely fine. Eight quid plus postage. Saw some Berghaus. Uh, these are some Berghaus women's uh, like zip-off cargo trousers, uh, like walking cargo trousers, sorry. Again, not best size, UK size 10. But again, I think, I, I, no, these were, well, how much were these? These were 50p as well, actually, and they've gone for 15 pounds plus postage. I think I had them up for 18. Someone offered me 15. Not gonna argue with that. Off they go. A uh, pair of Asics. These are the Asics Gel Cumulus 23 running shoes. Fairly light wear. Like, definitely something that runners are going to appreciate using. They are absolutely knackered. Um, I paid £3 for these in a charity shop. That's, they've gone for £25 plus postage. Sold another band t shirt. This one's going all the way to the States. I believe where it came from initially. Uh, so this is the band called the Hoodoo Gurus. Yep, me neither. I haven't heard of them. Uh, they seem to have been around for quite a while. This is their 2010 World Tour t-shirt. Paid, hmm, I want to say £3.50 for this in a charity shop, and it's been listed for yonks, probably eight months. Um, finally, finally sold, full price, hooray, £20 plus postage on its way across the pond. Oh, I sold a camera. So this is a Panasonic Lumix DMC F4, big word, uh, digital camera, 12 megapixels, came with the charger uh, and the charging cable. Uh, and a 16 gigabyte memory card. There we go. Just reading that. £25 plus postage. And I paid a five for this at a car boot sale. And I believe that sold the same day. So could I have got more for it? Possibly. But that's where the comps were at. So I'm happy with that. This was a, a weird one. Um, I paid a pound for this at a car boot sale. Completely on a whim. And this is a Western... Oh, I'm going to read this again. A Western Sangamo Master V light meter and infracone. I believe it's for... Um, older single lens reflex cameras or at least older photography where it like detects how much light there is so it can do something with the camera i don't know i don't know enough about photography to tell you how this works all i can tell you is i paid a pound for it it's gone for 12 pound plus postage uh oh another good sale so these are a pair of toast women's i guess they were like chelsea boots but they were sort of cut off at the ankle not cut off not like someone sort of lopped them off but they were just they were ankle height um i think what did I pay for these? I believe they were £12 in a charity shop. Um, again, bought on a bit of a whim because I wasn't quite sure how well they do. And I don't think I had signal in the shop either. So a bit, bit of a risk. Pay £12. But they sold for £80 plus postage. Full price. Happy days. So yeah, Toast Footwear does seem to have uh, quite a good following. Has taken a little while to sell. But I'll definitely be picking those up again because that's a great bit of profit. So some more fit flops. Look at that. These are another pair of uh, topo sandals not in as good condition these ones and again i believe i paid five of these at a car boot sale uh but they, again they've gone for 25 pounds plus postage not a great size what size is it oh size six. Oh, that's, that's okay size six weren't in like immaculate condition but good enough for me there we go 5x not bad sold this die cast car this is a vitesse uh, fiat 124 spider again one i've had hanging around for absolutely ages but it has gone for full price 25 pounds plus postage i can't think what i paid for this you know i've had it that long i can't think what i paid for it. i bought it to resell i didn't buy it for the collection maybe four or five pounds something like that but yeah it is hung around a long time but finally sold full price this is a vintage rip curl a really oversized short sleeve like, like surf shirt surf shirt you wouldn't wear it surfing but it's it's like surf wear uh, again, I think I paid a fiver for this in a charity shop, I want to say. That's gone again, full price, £28 per postage. This was a good one too. So this was in a recent video. This is a Heli Hansen workwear uh, size XL waterproof jacket. Paid a fiver for this at a car boot sale. New of tags, new of tags. Had it up for £70. Uh, someone offered me 60 I said, I can with 65 And they declined it. I was like, great. Then they came out back with 63, and I was like, do you know what? I only paid a fiver. I think I was having a slow day. I accepted it. £63 plus postage. Nice bit of profit. Sold quickly. Happy days. Uh, some more band merch. This is a Papa Roach t shirt. I believe it's from about 2012 ish, something like that. Might be a bit newer. Uh, size large. I paid, again, 3 50 for this, I believe, in a charity shop. That's gone for £15 plus postage. Two more things. A pair of Santa Cruz board shorts. Bought these recently, actually, in the charity shop in my local town. Paid £3. I had them for 15 quid. Wasn't the best design. Uh, the Santa Cruz logo was kind of... 
in a weird sort of typeface, so it wasn't overly obvious what it said. Uh, but they've gone for £13.50 for its postage. I think someone offered me 12 and I met in the middle. Wouldn't normally do that, but I know Santa Cruz is a good brand and stuff can sell well. So I was trying to get as close to the asking price as I could. And they were happy with 13 50 so we're all good. And I think... No, one more sale. Oh, dude. This is a bit of a... I don't know, this brand, when I started reselling, this brand was probably my favourite, Howie's. Love picking it up, find it fairly often, normally priced quite cheaply, would sell really well. It's kind of faltered. Over the last sort of eight months, I'd say, it's really faltered. It just hasn't got the demand it once had. So this is a Howie's uh, cotton nylon hooded jacket. I don't think it was waterproof. This was like water resistant, like a Parker jacket. Um, that's gone for £30 plus postage, but I paid a tenner for that, so not the best return. And it's also taken an age to sell, when normally Howie's would sell pretty quickly. So I'm going to be a bit more careful. Well, no, I'm not, because I haven't seen Howie's. I haven't seen any Howie's in ages. But it was once my favourite brand to resell, and now it isn't. So, look, I think trends come and go with clothing. That's the thing, you know. Think of, like, Weird Fish. Oh, that used to be really good. And now it isn't. Maya trousers, they used to sell really well. These days, not so much so. I guess you've just got to keep up with the times because the public's demand for stuff does wax and wane. It's just one of those things. It's just one of those things. And that, before my voice goes, is all of June. So yeah, a real mixed bag. Um, but nice to see some higher value sales in there because it's nice to have like bread and butter stuff, you know, 15, 20, 25 quid. But when you get a sale through that's like 60, 70, 80 plus, it's fantastic, fantastic. Still waiting on the three-figure sale. Haven't had a three-figure sale in a long time, but it'll come, hopefully. It'll come. So that's that. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully it's been informative. Um, yeah, that just shows the sorts of things that I'm selling on my eBay shops. And until my next video, which will hopefully be along in the not-too-distant future, take care, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.